Dragon's heart belongs to so mask. I was embarrassed at first, but I'm going to go ahead and watch my Scooby-Doo. But masks are back on. So, so far I have like a hundred, a little over a hundred masks already made. Y'all going to have to forgive me. I'm a little slow today because I'm hungry. So, I might talk a little slow. So... Total, I have about over 100 masks made. This is before. These are the masks I was making before I had my little situation. So now that that is kind of transitioning, um, I can get back to making my masks and other products. So I have these. And it's back on the website, crownenergyvibes.com. And it's also in my profile, so it's clickable. When you go to my page, and it's right below my pictures, all of my links and everything. So if you want to see what's available on the site, because there are people that have been buying. So I don't know what's available as of right now. I haven't went and checked to update. So this these kinds and I will be making more I'm going to make some more soap too and other products to put on the site <laughs> I have a different kind of mask coming it says that it's shipped I'm excited about it so I'm excited to test one of them out to see. Uh, we're going to test out the fit and the quality and see if we like it. And if we like it and then you guys say you like it, we'll offer it. So these are the different patterns that I have. I do have a couple of LSU. I can't guarantee that they're going to stick around. Or that it hasn't been bought up yet. I don't know. But you have to go to the website. Which is crownenergyvibes.com And you can also go to my page. Go under my picture. And you'll see my links to all my different websites. So it's it'll make it easier for you to click. I ain't gonna lie. I like that print. That print fire. That will be some fire pants. Like oh my god. Like some pants? I could just imagine like with the little tie, the pins with the tie around and kind of like elastic back. Boy, this one too. This will make a nice jacket. I've seen this. I've seen this in jacket form. And when I tell you the jackets in this pattern are bad, the jackets in this pattern. I've been meaning, I've been itching to... I'm going to need you to do some education type man yes i've been looking i've been looking at the patterns i've seen some with crayons i don't know if i got those i'm gonna have to check because this these are the masks that i already have ready but i have masks like let me show you mm -hmm. i got my little short shorts on so <laughs> these are just the masks that i have ready all of this right Look inside this bag. These are the masks that I haven't... I haven't even started on these. These are adult masks. So, these are not complete. I cut all of these. Like, I went to work before my little situation happened. But, it's a lot up in there. It's a lot. This is heavy. I... This might be a 10-pound bag. It's a lot. And, I got some more of the Mario fabrics like y'all like. And... The Indian fabric. I got a couple of polka dots going on up in here. And these, because I don't want to get fussed at. So let me let me please make this known. Let me make this known right now. Because people have been in my inbox. About this. 
These, yes, these are the kids' masks. Kids' masks, because I know, I know kids are is getting is getting crazy, it's getting wild uh, with kids having to go back to school and stuff like that. And I know some of them are gonna need masks. So these are kids' masks. I just haven't had the chance to start on them yet. I would love, in a perfect world, I would have all of these done at the same time and up on the site, but it's just me sewing it. So, <laughs> y'all gotta, y'all gotta bear with me. So, I think after this, I'm gonna start on the kids' masks, because y'all have been requesting the kids' masks a lot, and they about to go to school soon. So, yes. And they'll have, the kids' masks too, will have the inserts like this. So I make mine and I'm always on because I see I've I've been like I always scope out other people and what they doing and just kind of seeing what the vibe is with what I'm doing. And I saw that a lot of people are doing theirs in layers. They're doing it with layered fabric or whatever. Me personally, this is just how I am. And a lot of people who shop with me know that I like to diversify my products. So Let's say if you have, oh shoot, I think my mask in the car. But you know those little med medical masks that you ha that's <clears throat> disposable? So say if you have one of those disposable masks that you throw away. Well, if you want to add that in, you can put it, you can slide it in here. Or you can slide the fill filler in. That way if it gets damaged or it needs to be replaced, you could just take it out and you still have your mask for the day because you just never know and i just thought you know i make it to where you can insert um fillers and insert the medical mask and also too you can cover your professional mask like the n n90 something mask you can cover this the ties make it easy to adjust over that so many benefits although it's two layers of fabric it's just the design fabric and then it's this fabric here so that you can but it has pockets on both sides so that you can insert more protection i just i just think with me like with the mask like this is no shade to anybody make a mask this is just how i think so like if i had made a mask and i put the filler on there like if the Feel it over time, you know, bacteria is going to get on that and it's going to, you know, over time, bacteria is going to just collect on that and stuff like that. And what if you need to change that out? Well, it's already sewn into the fabric. So, you know what I mean? I don't know. That's just how I be thinking. And so you'll have to buy a whole new mask all over again. Instead of inserting it, it just say... In my mind, it's, I don't know if it makes sense to anybody else. It just, it's the money saver for me, what I'm thinking. I'd rather insert it in and be able to take it out. That way, if it wears and tears over time, but my fabric is still good, I can still keep my fabric and just insert my fillers. That's just how I think. But it's no shade. I see a lot of people doing their things, and I'm glad that they helping to, care, to pick up some of this weight because it's a lot with the mask. So... Uh, I have like a hundred and something masks. I'm working on these now. Let me show you. Behind me, this was two days worth of work. Now, you know I'm doing this with a baby that <laughs> my second born is no joke. He is no joke. They sleep right now and I'm allowing them to sleep. I got the lunch going. They, they gonna eat some chicken nuggets and some homemade fries today and they gonna be content with that. So once that's done, I'm gonna wake them up. But this here is all of the ties for all of this. My ties are handmade. It's not elastic but so that you can adjust it. I found with the elastic, people were saying that it was too tight on the face. It was not adjustable. And everybody preferred the ties. So I make my ties from scratch. I found that's the best way because I tried to do it with bias tape. And it was too thin and somebody said that it kept slipping off. But I haven't had any complaint with my homemade ties. And it's, it's a thicker quality than um, bias tape. Bias tape tends to be a little bit thinner. 
so this is thicker so it'll hold a little bit better so i'm about to sew up all of this which i had to iron this down and in, in folds which it takes that takes the longest but i think um me sewing it is gonna be quicker sewing it but yeah so these are the ties i'm about to work on that and then these are already done so once i'm done with the ties and i insert it in these are going to be ready to ship so and that's not going to take long at all so i'm excited i'm excited i'm happy i'm happy shoot i i missed making stuff like i was up in here going crazy i was driving my family crazy i really was just to be honest because i felt like i was at a standstill so now i'm back to it we're gonna um uh, perfect and but it gave me enough time to well my soaps i didn't really need to test that out although i am so with the soaps what i was doing was the melt and pour melt method which i'm still going to do the melt and pour method but i want to handcraft my soaps from scratch completely like i want to get away from that is my goal that's my fall goal to have that mastered but i don't want to i can't give that you know i can't give out the handcrafted part until i get it perfected so i'm gonna continue to melt and pour until i get that down pack and my recipe and how i want to do it but um soaps i get i've gotten great reviews on my soaps and there's an oil that i created I tested it on my son because my son has very bad eczema. Like, he gets patches all over his um, his legs. The, the left leg, for sure, is the worst. So, it, it's like in between his, uh, is right up by his knee. And then his arms. Like, in the folds of his arms, in the folds of his knee. And then on the, where his kneecap is. So, and in between his thighs, too. So, it, it, it gets bad all over. And, and, and the, um, it irritates him. Oh, Lord, one of them up. Okay, I'm going to make this quick. So, it irritates him, and it's just not fun. So, the oil that I've created, he loves it. Like, it, it soothes him, and it calms him. When he gets in, because he gets a little attitude and he gets in a mood and a mold when it happens. And I can understand because you're irritated that your skin is itchy and dry. And, you know, we have we have prescribed medicine that works, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. But the oil definitely moisturizes and calms it. So, I'll be putting that out later on. So, all right, y'all. So, we talked about masks. We talked about soaps. And upcoming oils and I have a couple of other things I'm just throwing a whole bunch of things at y'all and you know with the the business cards maybe if I get a chance to go over there to my aunt house I'll show y'all the business cards like on live how it looks but the picture she showed me was fabulous she got it professionally printed um I create my stuff I only create my things one or two ways my print uh my digital products or well, one or three ways through canva through word and through excel so if it's not a spreadsheet it's either done in word or canva and with the cards you're able to you don't have to pay for a canva account you i made sure that you can do it on a free account you'll be able to go in there and adjust the wording the only thing that you cannot move is the artwork because i paid for that and also too i have an understanding with the artists you know commercial wise there are things that i can and cannot do so uh, people will sue you people will literally sue you if their artwork can be moved from your template because other people can extract that and sell it without paying for it so I just made it to where that's not movable but you can customize your wording to your liking so all right y'all 
I'm about to go check this uh, oven and make sure I'm not burning this food. So, see y'all later.